This may work maybe 20 years ago, but now we are looking in, in a different environment right now. The, the technology has evolved. Our economy has evolved. So the big question is this, how busy professionals and homeowners like us make six-figure profits from the property we own safely by doing it with research, data, and numbers. How do we buy in a way without complications and half-guessing regardless of the market conditions and still remain profitable? That is the question. Here, I will share with you exactly what we do and how we do it. My name is Simon Tan and welcome to Singapore Real Estate Insider. The certain mindset that I want you guys to hold first because today you are in this community is because you may have done property yourself before and you could be a very savvy investor yourself. But do you agree that whatever works maybe 10 to 15 years ago may not work now in terms of the strategy? All right, this is what happened when I saw a lot of uh, homeowners, they are still holding on to a strategy that worked maybe 20 years ago, maybe 18 years, 15 years ago, and they want the same strategy using today and want it to have the same outcome. So one of the main purpose of this community is also I will want to and, and develop and help you guys to understand what is the latest strategy that a lot of consumers out there are also adopting and something that we are also helping a lot of our clients and families to pursue on. How many of you, whenever you buy a property, this is the first thing they will think? Homestay or investment? Because the one thing that I realize is, uh, I mean, may, may not be your fault. Lah, okay, maybe it's the agent's fault. Lah, because why? Whenever they call you, right, if, if they're doing a cold calling, right, they, the first thing they ask is, right, uh, are you buying for homestay or for investment? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> this is the first thing that all the agents will ask. Whenever you call them, they will say, uh, are you buying for homestay or for investment? So maybe that's why you keep thinking that actually when you're buying a property, right, it's homestay or investment. All right, so now today I'm going to break this myth. All right, this may work maybe 20 years ago, but now we are looking in, in a different environment. Right now. The, the technology has evolved. Our economy has evolved. Uh, the, the, the population, the generation are getting smarter. We have a lot of things that we, are, we can use to our advantage. So today, if you are still losing an investment mindset, right? All right, you will be very, very tiring because when you buy a property or when you purchase a property already, right? You will be thinking that, wow, whatever I buy in is with very high end. And at the same time, as an investment, right? The slow turnover is always there. When you say that the amount of uh, investment, right? Sometimes you will feel that, wow, the amount of down payment I put into your property, right? Wow, very strong, right? wow, so much, uh, a quarter million. You know, I put it in. So you feel very pain when you think it like an investor, an investment. And you are always constantly affected by the economy. What do I mean by this? So most of us, we when we own a property, right? The moment when we start thinking it that we are using as a more investment, the key concern is that you'll be like, if the market drop, huh, what happened? Oh no, you know, some my property prices will come down. So this is with the investment mindset. I want you to switch it to another mindset is that your property is a savings mechanism for you. We know how to save, right? Every single month we put some money to the bank, that's a super form savings. But why is it that we can't see a property like a bank? Okay, I always say this to my clients and the families. Today, if you buy a property, right? It's not that you are spending money on this. All right, this asset, will never go to zero, agree? All right, this property will never go to zero. But at the same time, you're actually forced saving into a property that at the end of maybe 20 years or even 30 years later, right? This is all your money. All right, it is actually a savings mechanism. And because this is with very low risk, why do I mean by low risk? Because you're paying to stay inside. And if you're paying to stay inside, why are you so worried about whether the economy is going up or down? Yes, basically you are not so concerned about it. Right, and we always want to use, you know, since we can safely save in a bank, right? Why not we use the same concept that you create your own bank, which is your property. Alright, so this is a term that I always like to share with my clients. Like, why would I want to put into a bank where my interest rate is so low? And if I actually put into my own bank, which is a property, right? I think my interest and my, my appreciation and my growth is actually much, much higher. 